Hello everyone and welcome to turn 14 of our strategic command World War One game against Legit. We are in summer 1915 and the stuff is really getting hot all around the globe now or at least all around Europe and the Middle East as French troops have landed in Mesopotamia. We are under pressure on the eastern front in some areas we still try to push in there we have finally our artillery guns with good enough artillery guns that we can breach through and this turn we hopefully can get the first breaches in on the eastern front and then the big question is what will the western allies do will they push us anywhere or will they just focus down the ottomans as we had some landings in turkey as well but luckily our troops there hold out and his troops there might be stranded Yeah, I feared that might happen. That is not great. Italy is in as well, so Austria, Hungary will struggle. Oh god, and the Brits land in absolute force there. And they also shred us through over here now. Oh god. A lot of bad things happening here. Okay, that was actually not that bad. This here is scary. Okay, I'm surprised to see him attacking there. Wait, what? Why is he scouting with his... Okay. He's pushing us along the Norwegian coast. His units there are kind of stranded. We really have to be careful of how we move these units, as he ha might just bait us to try to get us to move elsewhere. Okay, that's not good. Our fighter here keeps on hitting him. He doesn't have fighter escorts, so that's fine. But Mesopotamia now being fully charged upon is really bad. Oh, okay. Hey, he can't attack that with non-destroyers. He needs destroyers to deal with that. Tries to hit Aachen. He checks over there if he can. He really wants to do a lot of naval invasions, it feels like. Um... We do solid damage with our submarines. 50% to blow up some Italians in their home ports. Yes. Let's try to do that. Um. Yeah, that was stupid. We knew that was there. Okay. We sit, still see light cruisers over here? Yes, we do. Hit up British ships a bit more. Okay, we have a decent attack over here. We need to move this unit into a position. Shit, yeah, we, we, we screwed that up. They can't leave Medina. Give up Kuwait. We are back that. Okay, that's a good trade. That's a potentially good trade for us as well. This is not. This is though. Okay, interesting. Mm. That is a good trade. Even a 2v2 two, 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 two there is fine. Oh, 
we have to stop him from getting too far here. This to Constantinople. We need to rebuy a detachment. Attack here. Okay, but here is our next major thing. He's back to entrenchment 2 there. Which our one shell can't provide us with. Okay. Can hit the French there somewhat. Uh, he's at supply 3 there. Core is still weakened. Wait, do we have infantry weapon once now? No, we still don't have. Come on, Austria. Okay. We can rebuy a core with them. Ah, no, we. Yeah, no, we don't have infantry weapon once. Yeah, I was like, I didn't rebuy them with infantry weapon once, but. Yeah, that's because we don't have any. I really at no position at all to attack that. Oh god. That's gonna be bloody. Let's do this here first. Okay. That was great. should be able to finish the job and that's the first morale objective here gone uh, you can't reach the front line I moved the wrong units first Warsaw, but you can attack that next turn. We rotate around here. But we try to attack his headquarter. Yes, we do. We don't have an, any attack here. Nice. Cavalry, do your job. Push him in here completely. Ah, okay, that was not a good move. Let's move to here then. Vilna has fallen. Now we only need to get Riga as well. The units here are still holding out nicely for him. Get infantry weapons. Get you back up to full strength. Get you back up to full strength. But Riga is slowly crumbling as well. This one can move one forward. You can position yourself in there. Detach, attach, and then you also have a better attack. That makes sense. 
Samsonov taking some damage here. We don't have a good attack here. Could attack here now, but that's too risky. That gotta get this guy back up to strength. Still no battle whatsoever here. Which is fine by me though. Gives the Germans time to do some oh F. Some more research, I wanted to say. Okay, research is curtailed a bit. Um Yeah, this in Wilhelmshaven is good. And then we get another core with strength. And then repairing this I think makes sense. Over here we also can hold the disc maybe. Yeah. Let's hit that core. He has it out here like that. We might as well hit that. And transport. Oh. That's good damage. After roots, we try to escape up there. Okay. We are a bit boxed in. Do we have anyone with really low supplies? You're still at 10 supplies. Uh, trade there is not something we want. Let's do like we go south. And then we actually go up back up north. One more raid up there. There was a battleship here, right? Yes. Oh, we did two damage this turn. Orion class being hit. I would like to know more about the position of his fleet. This can't reach that far. Mm. Let's get our fleet here out for battle. He wants to come to our coast. We can fight him here anyways. In a relatively efficient manner. Let's let's get him into action. Good amount of destroyers. Bouncing like cruiser. Okay. We took two national morale objectives of the Russians this turn. That's good. We dealt some damage here, like report wise. What does this turn entail so far for the Russians? Pivas, they got a lot of extra MPP now, now from convoys, I think. They really amped up the convoy route, right? Yeah. But we still deal good damage to that. And we deal 900 damage to them. Like, the damage really amps up now. Mm. We outnumber them a bit. Ground units now. This is a problem. Like, this obviously is a massive problem as well here. But the Italians have one, two, three, four, five. Like, the outnumber is so hard. Um, we might want to send the general back to deal with that. Chase production, August, okay, we really need that gun, <laughs> like that gun could be really helpful down here as well, two guns we can just rule in Belgrade, mm. we really don't want to give up that, like I have the feeling that this is his gamble. That is what he aims for, and 
as long as they're moving here, we can chase them down. Mm. No, no, no. A Haifa unit down here. Oh, you can deal some damage. You can even deal some damage to this one. Hey, we, we deal some good damage to the British forces there. We get you up to level 1 weapons. Dealt some damage here, we dealt some damage here. We can level these guys up to infantry weapon 1? No. Alright, not. Okay, I don't know. Uh, we will figure that out in the long run. This guy, Kemal Pasha, needs to go up higher. So that he's a better general. That he also can't get kicked by the Russians too hard. We keep this around, I guess. <laughs> Wait, what? Now we would deal damage, but yeah, that's still not good damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wish we would still have a cavalry corps here to maybe do something with the Austro-Hungarians. They can't afford the cavalry corps, right? No. Airship, not really doing anything. Five morale, that's not really much. The resource damage, not really important. What does the improving the airship actually do, by the way? Like, we're we researching that as well, right? Airship. Strike range, okay. And resource damage. So with them on a higher level, you actually might be able to deal some damage to Newcastle and Yorkshire here. To the mines, especially, like, yeah. We'll see. Maybe we can use them for that. And also increases naval spotting, which is helpful as well. How expensive are airships again? Not that expensive, right? We can We only... We can't get more, really. Uh, but wait, research air air warfare, heavy bombers, aircraft carriers, recon bombers. Doesn't increase. You can only get one airship. Wow. Can't get more airships through this, right? Doesn't say airships. No, doesn't say airships. Ah. So it's really only for one unit, that's that's not really worth it in the long run. But yeah, having our fighter here is nice. Consider if I should send this one north here, because it seems like that's where the battle will be fought. At least that's the only point where our fronts crash. Yeah, this was not so clever. Dealt some damage to that light cruiser, that French light cruiser. Keeping on being annoying. Yeah, the submarine here. I'm not quite sure what they have down in the Black Seas, unit wise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dealt some damage to the French, but they can afford it. Eh, no, 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 no. Guess we. We prepare these Austro-Hungarians for the counter-attack. That's where we spend our points in. 
And then research. We're hungry. I kind of want to go for more production technology. So if we get more, more of our units cheaper. I feel that's like a good idea, good investment into the long run. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is it. Production. Germans get one new unit. Austro-Hungarians get two new units. Turkey gets two new units. Yeah, this, these artillery pieces, that artillery piece will be key. Germans now have shell production on two research, which is really good as well. And then the other thing that is important for this right mm, logistics also increases the build limits for transfer and maximum shells for artillery by one per level yeah so we can get more shells in our artillery guns like here the limit is five and here the limit is seven already so you can save them up more but first of all you have to get more well, logistics actually plays a role um yeah shell production is super important one shell extra shell for artillery really important so that you can break enemy entrenchments efficiently with one artillery piece and the two artillery pieces can really light up a whole front line germany can get one more or two more artillery pieces one more so up to four guns austro-hungarians can get up to three guns But yeah, the second gun here will be super key. Super, super key to be break Belgrade. And then hopefully get the Bulgarians in here and try to push them through here. That's somehow holding over here. Uh, it's gonna be nasty now. Like, we finally got some land winds here. I mean, the British, we need to keep busy so that they can't spend endless down here. So... Maybe winning a naval battle could be a key idea here. Nice. Yeah, with his dreadnoughts damaged, we actually might have a chance. We actually might have a chance. Let's see. Like, he's, he's drawn out everywhere. If we assemble our units together and attack with a cohesive force, we actually might have a chance of beating him there. We will sail out next turn, I think. For a massive fleet battle. Let's see how it goes. See you next turn. Let's, let's go. That's not good. Also, Novo reduces n Russian national morale. That is good. That is good as well. Some decent hits up there. That is not good. This is not good at all here. Yeah, I moved to the Marines too far forward. I should have kept them back here. Industrial technology 2 and infantry weapons 1 are both good. Now about 500 with the Germans, which is nice. Austro Hungarians getting a bit more as well. That is really good. So yeah, see you next turn. Bye-bye and have a great day.